lecture sheet. All right, we'll be using this later on. This is going to be the content of the group discussion today. Uh, we still need more time to key in the website. Everyone has their internet access. Internet, internet. Why is that a problem? Because it makes your slide very tedious and boring. 
So we need some methods to fix that. And this is the first tip that I'm going to talk about. That is, paraphrase the long, tedious words into your own simple words. So how can we do this? Let us take a look. A common mistake about your presentation is to put every single word on what you want to say on the slide. Doing so makes the slide meaningless while the audience can just read your slide and forget your talk. To simplify this, we can find out the key important words. For example, in this one, they are common mistake is to put every single word on what you want to say. So after catching the important words, you can simplify into a simple sentence. Now, doesn't that look more clear? And now that's e easier to understand, just by a single line, but it still expresses the original idea. Let us look at another example. This is about Toastmasters. Toastmasters International is a non-profit educational organization. It is founded on October 20, 1924. It has served 260,000 members over 113 countries. And it has 12,800 clubs worldwide. And it focuses on competent leadership and competent communication. This, these are true facts. But if we present all of these information on the same slide, it's very boring and takes a while for the audience to read everything. So we need to simplify this by applying the first tip, putting them into your own simple words. And for this one, I'm going to ask a volunteer to pick up the important words, just like the first example. So let us start with Eric. What do you think are the important words in this slide? Uh, like what information must be kept to, to reserve the meaning of this slide without changing the content of itself? Right, that's one. Because that's a subject, of course. Let's say it says that Toastmaster is a non-profit educational organization. It seems very important, right? So we need to leave that on, back on. And the date, October 22, 1924. It's very important too. And are there anything else? <laughs> Don't be too excited. <laughs> yeah. Many members. Yeah, many members. Many, um, 260,000 members, 130 countries. That's right, very good. Anything else? How about the third fact? It has 12,000 younger clubs worldwide. Yeah, right. Um, exactly, that is correct. We pick up the important word. That is, not profit education organization, October 22, 160,000, 113, 18, uh, 12,800, and leadership and communication. By picking up these words, simplify them into simple terms like this. Now that's more easier to understand. Now no one's going to get confused and use where they are seeing, seeing when they read through the slides. So that's the sense about clarity. But to make clarity further enhance, or to make sure that you really have it on the sense of clarity, you can apply the triple five rule. What is the triple five rule? The triple five rule has three parts. It stands for, for every line, make sure that you have fewer than five words. To keep it simple, five words. And for every slide, try to make it fewer than five bullet points and use at least one picture for every five slides. By applying these concepts, we can achieve the purpose of clarity. So every of your audience can understand what is written on this big screen very quickly. So that's for tip one and tip two. Tip one, into your simple words. Tip two, the rule of triple five. Questions? Alright, move on. So, for this slide, do we have the triple five rule? Let us take a look. The first five, 
fewer than five words. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three, two, two. Great, you made it. Lesser than five words for every single bullet point. And there are fewer than five bullet points in this slide. And how about the third five? A picture for at least every five slides. We don't have a picture yet, but we can certainly add one later. We'll go back to that in the following session. And one more comment about triple five rule. It is strongly suggested, but not mandatory. It's not wrong to to go against the triple five rule, but it's, it is always better to keep it, to make it simple. Yeah, uh, a strong recommendation and suggestion. All right, so that is that's pretty much about the first principle. Parity makes things make things simple. Then the second principle, relevance. About the previous slide, post message international. If today we're going to add a photo to enhance the impression on the audience, then what can we do? Certainly, we don't want to do something like this. A moving picture and a, something that really catches the audience's attention, but it's not relevant to Toastmaster International. Rather, this is a gross mod course. Yeah, so, and I believe when we have animated pictures, the audience side is going to be focusing on the picture instead of the word itself. So we need to avoid like moving objects and non-relevant 